Thank you, Walt. And the Target 12 investigators take you inside the mafia now. Rhode Island mob captain Robert Bobby DeLuca, seen here on the left, took the stand in the murder trial against former mob boss Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi. His testimony was inside a Boston federal courtroom. And that's where Target 12 investigator Tim White has been from the beginning of this high-profile mob trial. He's here now with the details. DeLuca is currently in federal custody and was brought into the courtroom by U.S. Marshals. He told jurors in 1993 Salemi reached out to him, seeking help in burying the body of Stephen DeSaro. 72-year-old Robert DeLuca, seen here in 2016, testified that in May 1993, he met with then-mob boss Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi on Federal Hill. At the time, prosecutors say Salemi and his son were silent partners in a Boston nightclub owned by Stephen DeSaro. DeLuca told jurors Salemi claimed DeSaro was stealing from them. I said, get rid of him. You don't need him. Throw him out. He said, yeah, don't worry. Frankie boy will take care of that. Investigators say Frank Salemi Jr., who has since died, strangled the sorrow as Salemi looked on, and co-defendant Paul Wiedek, seen in this FBI surveillance photo, held the sorrow's legs. DeLuca says the Mafia Don then asked him to dispose of DeSaro's body. DeLuca testified he coordinated with his brother and others to bury DeSaro behind this Branch Avenue mill building. Fast forward to 2016, DeLuca says he learned federal investigators were digging for remains behind the building. He says, I didn't think I might have a problem. I knew I would have a problem. Salemi and co-defendant Paul Wiedek are charged with murder of a witness. Investigators say Salemi feared DeSaro was going to cooperate with the FBI. They have pleaded not guilty. DeLuca pleaded guilty to charges that he lied to federal investigators about what he knew of the DeSaro murder. He's scheduled to be sentenced in June. He's expected to be back on the stand on Wednesday. In Boston with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.